Hello guys, T Reaper here, and today I'm going to talk about my top 25 and 5 college football video. So as always, I'll start with the and 5. So at number 30, I've got Iowa State. I believe this is a really good team. They are only losses to Iowa, and they played Iowa very tough. Number 29 is Pitt. They beat UCF in a shocker. A lot of people are sleeping on this team. If they have a two or three game win streak, they'll be in the top 15. I can guarantee it. At least on this list. Number 28 is Arizona State. Another team people are low on. They did beat Michigan State, as much as I hate to say it. But they did beat Michigan State, but it was on a call that I disagree with highly. I was even at that game, and I was mad. And then uh, we got Army at number 27. Because they almost beat Michigan, but Michigan is not that good, and they're at 26. So, number 25, I've got Kansas State. This is a really good team. They're in the Big 12, pretty tough conference. But... Not as tough as the SEC team in Texas a and I have at 24. They are 2-2. Two and two, But they lost to Clemson and Auburn, and they played Auburn very tough. Number 23, I've got Wake Forest. This could be a sleeper team, honestly. Number 22 is UCF. I did demote UCF for a little bit because they lost a game they probably shouldn't have to pit. Number 21, I've got Utah, who lost to my number 20 team this week in USC. And then I've got 19, Virginia. Virginia's doing really good this year. A lot better than some people might think. Be, don't be surprised if they go on the road and upset Notre Dame. Number 18 is Washington. Don't know too much about them other than... Wait, that was... Oregon, who I've been beat. Number 17, I've got Boise State. This is a really good team. Right now, I think they're the favorites to be the New Year's Six representative for the first time in a very long time because there was Houston in 2015, Western Michigan in 16, and 17 and 18, we had UCF. I don't know who it was before then. Maybe it was Boise. Number 16, we've got Cal, California. They've done pretty good. They did beat, I think they did beat Washington this year. And then at 15, I've got Penn State. Penn State's a very good team. But they're not as good as 14 Oregon. Oregon's playing very tough. Their only losses to Auburn. And I don't know how many losses Auburn's going to be here, heavy this year. But they might get a lot of wins this year. As you'll, I'll talk about later on this list. Number 13, Michigan State. It's maybe a little high for Sparty, but they put up 51 points at this season in one of their games. They had negative 73 rushing yards in one of their games. Beat a Big Ten team by 21 on the road. That is never easy to do, no matter if it's Ohio State playing Rutgers or if it's Ohio State playing Michigan State, or Michigan, it's or Ohio State playing Wisconsin. There's really, you beat a conference opponent by 21 on the road, you're really good. Then you got 12, Iowa. I think I could be really high on Iowa. Colin Coward, yes, I know you called him the fake ID of college football, but I really think Iowa just had their 21st birthday, and they are going to win some games this year. The number 11 is Notre Dame. They did lose to Georgia, but they played Georgia very tough. And it's never to win at Sanford Stadium. Number 10 is Wisconsin. Yes, they did shred it up on Michigan, but Michigan's not that good. This year. Let's just face it. Number 9 is Texas. They're pretty good. They don't, they're only losses to Auburn. Number 8, I've got Florida. They haven't really beaten anybody this year. But they have looked really strong. Number seven, I've got Auburn. Okay, they still got LSU, Georgia, and Alabama on their schedule. If they can beat two of those teams, consider them a lock to make the college football playoff. 
Number six, I got Oklahoma. They got Jalen Hurts. They had two Heisman winners in the last two seasons. They might go for three in a row and three different players. I don't think that has ever happened in college football history. I don't think two from two different players has ever happened in college football history, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Number five is LSU. Listen, this is a playoff team if they win. If they win 11 games, they're in the playoff. If they win 12 games, they're in the playoff. Number four, we've got Alabama. You may think this is a little low for the Tide, but listen, who has Alabama played this year? Has Alabama shut anybody out this year? Has Alabama beat somebody by 70 plus? The answer to both those questions is no. But Georgia, my number three team, they have played somebody. And they've beaten everybody by blowouts. I mean, they played an SEC team in Vanderbilt. I mean, they're nobody in the SEC, but they're still an SEC team. Number two, I got the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Ohio State looks very strong this year. Justin Fields looks like he could be one of the best quarterbacks in the nation and maybe win the Heisman. Maybe. And they beat Miami like 70 of Ohio 77 to 5. I mean, it's Miami of Ohio, but 72 points is a lot. I mean, my high school team won by 50 this week, and that's a lot. And then number one, I've got Clemson. It's Clemson, okay? There's no reason. I, I don't even have to explain why they're number one. It's just Clemson. Okay. And I have an update on the merch. I now have green and black green and black stickers. Wait. They're upside down. Green and black stickers. And they are these ones are five bucks a piece and the little ones are three bucks a piece. And so they're six inches by six inches and four inches by four inches. I'll get them out now. Let's see if I can get them out. So this is what a green one looks like. And then the black, oh, that's a blue one. The blue one looks like this, or the black one looks like this. It's a bad view. And as you can tell, I put my logo on a sweatshirt today, or it's a hoodie. As soon as I get the, my stickers and my envelope, I'll show you guys. See? That's my logo on a sweatshirt. It's green and black. I can do any color combination you'd like. Then I have three examples of t-shirts to show you. So this is a... I, then again, I can do any color with any color. So this is a blue, large gray with a blue logo on it. This is an 8 inch by 8 inch logo. This is a, a small gray one with a black logo. It's still 8 inch by 8 inch. I haven't made any 4 inches by 4 inches yet, but if a four, I did a 4 inch, it'll be kind of like a polo up here. And the 4 inches is the same size as the mini ones I showed you. And I can do that in any size too. And then, obviously you can't see the whole logo on any of these, but you, get, you can get the point. This is the red one to a red and black one. And shout out to Reese and uh, Adam. You know who you are. You're the first two people to buy one of my shirts. Those last two I showed you, Reese and Adam have bought. I just haven't given it to them yet. Major shout out to you two. Shout out to everybody. Like Ethan, Aiden, and Carter. You have all bought stuff today, too. If I forgot any of you, I'm terribly sorry. Just let me know, and I'll shout you out. Peace out.